right, we just pulled off in the parking lot here. I'm gonna walk around this 1966 Impala SS convertible. I'm gonna point out any kind of flaws that I see. That way you know what you're buying before you get here. This one does have a matching number 283 under the hood. Power steering, pretty decent driving car. Uh, it does have a few little issues I want you to check out. Uh, definitely watch the test drive video. I'll link it to the last 30 seconds of this video. And once you watch both of them, you'll know everything about this car. Went ahead and opened the hood and the trunk so I'm not fumbling things around. Check out maplemotors.com for finance and shipping information and close to 100 detailed pictures of this car. We're gonna get started here up front. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like the content. Coming across the front bumper here, does have some pitting, some scratches. It's not in perfect shape. The grill looks pretty good. Looking at the paint up here, it's got a little chip in the corner. Another little chip right here on top of the fender. Coming down the side of the car. Tires are in good condition. Uh, I was checking to see if one of the belts was broke. Because during the test drive, it felt like one was. But you can't see any indication on the outside of the tire. I'm looking for any kind of rust spots that may stand out to me that you would want to know about. There's a small little dent right here. I'm trying to point it out. It's right there. Door handles are in great shape. Definitely gonna come back over the top portion. This car's in pretty good shape. It's got some chips back here on the back fender. One right here as well. Top's in good condition. Got some surface rust popping up on top of here. It can be easily wiped off with steel wool. And we will make our way back around and shut the hood. Heading to the trunk now. It's got a boot that goes over the top. It's a little bit dirty. I noticed that. It needs to be cleaned up. It has a few spots on it, but for the most part, it's not ripped up or anything. Just a nice cleaning would do. Checking out the trunk. I'm gonna go ahead and look under the mat here. Trunk is leaking. See, so we got some moisture under the mat but the trunk looks solid so we need to go ahead and dry this water out so we don't have any rust starting to form weather stripping looks good could be coming from where the top connects back there edge of the trunk right there has got some cracking going on as you can see it comes down nice and easy and locks good got a magnet tag stuck to the back it's not drilled on there there is some haziness going on right here on the back of the trunk lid And the trunk lid itself is not perfect in this area. Looks like it may have had a dent. There's some cracks in the paint. Maybe had a little bit of work that was put in on the back here at some time for sure. You can see it's kind of cracking. Checking the rear bumper out, it does have scratches not perfect
got some scratches right oh well, nope came right off that was dust it looked like a scratch so chip in the paint right here it's all coming out the side you do have some work that has been put in back here in the corner there's a bubble in the paint Couple dimples popping up here in the panel. Along this side, there's a few more bubbles on the paint. There's a chip here and on top of the door. A little scuff in the door as well. You see that mirror there? It's got some pitting popping up. All over the mirror. The weather stripping's dried out too around the door. All right, so we've made it around this car. It does have a few flaws on it, but I wanted you to know about them reason i walk around and show you all that stuff we're getting ready to go to the interior check it out start checking out some of the electronics and we'll hit back on the road and uh finish the test drive video once again guys if you're interested in this car watch both videos opening the door up you can see the sun has faded the top of the door but the panel is in good shape Weather stripping's not completely gone, but it will need to be replaced at some point. There is some uh, rust trying to pop through on the bottom of the door there. Let's look around the rest of the bottom. See some of that weather stripping falling apart too. Carpet's in great shape. Looks nice and clean. Looking over the interior. See the top of the seat's got a few spots that are faded, but it's not tore up. It does have rear seat belts, but it did not have any for the front. So that's something that'll have to be added. See the sun's faded the side there. But it's not all tore up. Still in good good shape. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Let's hop on in here. show you the mileage here start her up starts up nice and easy pretty quiet 283 supposed to be the original motor windshield wipers work blower motor does not work that's something you'll have to wait it didn't work a second ago i promise it may be in the switch it just cut off it cut on and cut off cut on actually blew out a leaf it's still on now. It may be in the switch because uh, during the intro of the test drive, it did not work. So the blower motor is cutting on. Radio. Radio is working. Our little clock. It does work. Wow. Look at that there. That's cool. Go ahead and try this horn. Did y'all place your bets? It works. Turn signals are popping up on the dash there, on both sides. Missing a little lock on the console here. Just can't quite get in there. This one does open. Ooh. A few documents in there. Good deal. Pretty quiet car. Motor's nice and quiet under the hood.
coming down with the hood it's easy nice and smooth got a good look to it lines up well All right, guys, I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots. You can also see uh, some undercarriage shots at maplemotors.com. Anything I may miss, you might be able to pull up on there as well. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but let's go ahead and look under it. We're gonna start in the back here. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Also check out the test drive. Uh, we're getting ready to take off out of the parking lot here and continue back to the lot. I've got 11 test drives to get to this week, so lots of content coming your way. Check out maplemotors.com for all of our inventory. We got 100 detailed pictures of every car. Financing and shipping options are available. And I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all sharing my videos. It helps me out greatly. On to the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.